That's why I don't like the discount thing. Because discount, subconsciously, when people hear discount, what they think is that they've revealed what the real price is. And that's not true. That's not what's going on. That's why discount is such a horrible term and word in sales. It's like, can you give me a discount? Yes. The minute I give that to you, you're like, okay, well the product really does, or the solution or the service really does cost this new number. They were trying to sucker me out. That's why I would rather say, listen, our price is fixed. It is very reasonable. It's very fair. We've never lost a deal on price. Okay. Well, what if we do volumes? Okay, there, now, and that's why I asked you before. If there is a change there, the best way to let them know is we want to pass on all of the value to you. And in terms of economies of scale, if you're able to commit to more to us, that affects our supply chain, it affects our deliveries, it affects our you know, ability to put those things out in the field. We're of course gonna pass that on to you. If I can get the specifics on exactly how many units you need and how long you need them for, I'm happy to reprice based on those. That, and before you even let them talk. That being said, I have to be crystal clear about something, okay? This is not a discount. This is us passing the economies of scale along to you. That is a two directional street. Our price is as low as it can possibly be right now. If we enter into an agreement where it's a high volume, high length of term agreement, I'm happy to pass on those economies of scale. I just want to be crystal clear about something. That is not something where I can quote you high volume, high length of term, and then that's negotiable if that changes to a lower volume, lower length of term, you still maintain that price. That would be a loss for us. Where, where literally our margins are that thin and we price that aggressively from the beginning to where this is a, you're doing more and I'm passing along that lift, that economies of scale. As long as you're, and then I love these words, as long as you're okay with that, I'm okay with that and I'm happy to do the work repricing anything at any time. But you have to let them know right from Jump Street that they can't just come in and say, Nat, give me a price as, if I'm going to buy 10,000 units to keep them for 10,000 years and then pull a bait and switch on you because it sounded to me like that's what they were doing, right? We need to get ahead of that because then you can go, as we had discussed before, right? And I would even put it in the email. Here's the price for 1,000 units at 10 years, right? Again, if it goes down, we're back to this original floor price. And then it's very easy for you to present the other original price because now we're not at 10,000 units, we're at 3,000, we're going back to the original floor price.